Greetings, known world. This is Elsie off camera, and you're looking at Mallory's leg. We're going to go back and forth between her and Moose in this video, looking at the differences between two horses that are pretty close in terms of height. So what I have in my hand, this metal bit, is a five-foot yardstick so that you guys have a little bit of scale on how she's built. Her proportions in her leg, even though they're the same height, are pretty similar. So I'm going to go ahead and just wait just a moment. You guys stay right there. Because I wanna, one of the things I want to show you is, yeah, you're fine, Mayor. One of the things I want to show you, I usually do my tack fittings on moose, is what we talk about is bone. So this is just a rough measurement. She's got about eight inches of bone in her cannon. And we'll compare that to moose. You also had a chance to see how the shoulder looked. And just look, measuring the front of her hoof, she's got about three inches there. And if I pick that foot up, I don't know if our cameraman can get this angle quite right, but we're looking about five and a half inches across the width of the foot. So those are her proportions. I'm going to have my cameraman pause and we'll go look at moose. So here we are with the hackney. Again, we've got the five foot measuring stick. You can take a look at the proportions of his leg. He's a little longer through some parts, a little shorter through the others. Some of that's because his breed is actually designed to trot where Mallory's breed was selected for canter work. We take our handy dandy measuring tape. We'll see how they stack up. Okay, so he doesn't stand still any better. We can see how they stack up. They get right down in the middle about the same spot. He's got about eight and a half inches right there in the same location. The front foot, three and a quarter. And across the width, we're looking at six inches. So that's our comparison on our front leg. Thank you very much.